video, you will learn how to configure Send Email Assertion in CA API Gateway. This assertion allows you to instruct the Gateway to deliver an email message whenever the assertion is encountered in a policy. Let us see a scenario where this assertion was used in Air Airlines. Rita is a security administrator at Air Airlines. Vunair has been using CA API Gateway to securely expose backend applications to partners, employees, and customers. The API Gateway application uses trusted certificates for SSL communication with various servers and constantly checks the validity period of these certificates. This check occurs each time the Gateway application initializes and every 12 hours after initialization. Audit messages are generated when a certificate is about to expire in configured time periods. Rita currently depends on the audit messages to keep track of the expiry of various certificates. However, there have been a couple of situations where Rita missed a message and forgot to update the trusted certificates. This led to multiple escalations. She wants to configure CA API Gateway to send her an email as soon as a certificate expires so that she can update the certificate. She is delighted to realize that she can add the send email assertion into an internal audit sync policy so that she receives an email when a certificate expires. The send email assertion instructs the gateway to deliver a pre-configured email message whenever the assertion is encountered in a policy. Let us watch a demonstration of how you can configure this assertion. Access the policy development window and locate the send email assertion under logging, auditing and alerts assertions. Drag and drop the assertion into the policy development window. The placement of the assertion in the policy path determines when and why an email is sent. Place the assertion in at least one assertion must evaluate a true assertion with a continue processing assertion so that a failure of the send email assertion does not cause a total policy failure. You should now configure the properties. Now, select the email text format. In this scenario, let's select HTML to use HTML tags in the email. Now, type the email in the text area provided below the format property. You may include context variables within the message if necessary. We recommend that you avoid JavaScript and use inline CSS. Some email clients may discard the CSS defined in head or style tags. You can also add one or more attachments to your email. The name field specifies the attachment's file name. The source variable specifies the configuration details of the attachment. It can be a simple message type variable or MIME part of the message or multiple MIME parts. All the attachments are listed as comma separated file names in the attachments section under the email body area. Save the configuration. You have now learned how to configure the send email assertion.